Hey guys, welcome back to another very exciting tutorial of creating process and in today's video making this on the new logo design. In this we can see there is a zigzag formation of a very thin film strip in which the top surfaces has got black color and the inner surfaces has got certain gradient color. And here we can see there are a few details. So to create this logo, we'll first create the zigzag formation using the pen tool. Then we'll use the extrude and bevel to create this surfaces and we'll add up the gradient color then we'll add up these details and then finally we'll add up the text so let's begin with the tutorial to create this logo we'll use the pen tool and create this zigzag formation so click here and we'll create a curve like this then one around here and this one a little bit longer than one around here and this one is going to be the longest one make a little curve here at the end then one around here and this one around here and finish the curve like this now once you have done that we'll select this and make sure the field color is light color maybe a little red like we have selected that and make sure the stroke thickness is very thin that's we have given 0.2 now after that selecting that curve go to effect 3d extrude and bevel and here we'll do little adjustment with the extrude and bevel option just preview it and you can see the extrude effect now we'll do little adjustment with the angles like this we'll rotate this uh, to an angle like this kind we'll uh, make sure it's straight so we'll just rotate it make sure it's like this we'll increase this angle so we'll be doing little adjustment with the angles and like this and we'll increase the perspective to around maybe uh, 60 and we'll reduce the extrude depth and we'll do the little adjustment with the angles like this so you can see we are doing a little bit of adjustment with the angles and all everything so that we can get that uh, design so like this let's increase the extrude depth so that we can see this ending curves here like that and let's find out and after that just click the OK button so once you have achieved basic uh, idea of the logo then we'll select this go to object expand appearance and this will convert this into semi object now next thing is go to object envelope distort and make with mesh and we, this will help us in, uh, modify this object so we have given rows two by two columns and preview it so we got these much of points click ok now after that with the direct selection tool select these three points and just move it on the left hand side with the arrow keys like that and after that we'll make sure that the curves are in flow so like this we'll make sure the flow is maintained in this way and in the end one we'll just make sure there's a bending like this like this this kind again this and we'll do more adjustments so that uh, we got that feel so we'll do a little adjustment like that this one we'll do we can move here if you need like that this one we'll just do like this so it's all uh, how you do the adjustment with the mesh and everything options like that this one we'll just look at it and see how it looks this one we can just make sure it curves so flow making the uh, maintaining the flow of the curve is important so that we can achieve a nice design this one we'll do like this from here also we'll do little angle tilt this angle a little bit this one we'll do, tilt this a little bit more like that so we can get that curve nice curve from here also nice curve and after that you can click the ok button if you are ok with that so with the selection tool select the object go to object expand and this will convert this into object form and after that right click your mouse button ungroup it almost three times and after that you can see everything is separated so this phase is separate this one is separate so we'll just select this and we'll go to windows and pathfinder and bring out the palette now select this and just combine it select this combine it select this make sure everything is selected combine it 
select this face combine it select this face combine it select this face combine it select this one combine it so selecting everything so that uh, each pieces are one object now you can see this is one object so we can easily fill up the color very easily now once you have done that we select all the top surfaces and with the eye picker just select this color so this one is black now next thing is we select this with the eye picker and with the alt and shift press just select this color in the same way do the uh, stuff for all the faces so we'll, with the eye picker select this with the alt and shift press just select the color select this one with the eye picker select the color select this one with the eye picker select the color so everything we have given all the colors now we'll do little adjustment or we'll be working on this few details so to create that details we'll go to pen tool and create a curve from here maintaining the flow and till the end like that so make it fill with fill color make the uh, stroke color white and so we'll do the adjustment to the curve so we'll use the convert anchor point tool and break this point so that we can do the adjustment here like flow making the flow then after that with the direct selection tool we'll individually select the points and uh, adjust the uh, curves so we'll select this just move this little bit here at the corner this one here this one we can just extend it like that this one will just make it more curved like that and after that we'll make sure I uh, will go select this curve and in the stroke we'll increase the thickness to around maybe 2 this one here dash 2 and here also 2 so we given that let's check it out the size okay that's very small or maybe like we can increase the size to uh, that's 4 we'll here we'll go here and select it 4 4 and that's fine now we'll duplicate this or maybe just shift this little bit here like that now we'll duplicate this one more and place it there with the alt press just click and drag and you can duplicate it now place this in a proper place so select it place it there this corner should be at here so select it and place it here and make sure to maintain the flow according to the surface so we'll just make sure it's in the flow this one will just extend a little bit so that we can maintain the flow here now after that select this one more time duplicate it not that one the curve duplicate it with the alt pressed just click and drag and with the direct selection tool just select the point and just place it at here at one point and one at the end and after that we'll make sure to maintain the flow so these handles are very useful to maintaining the flow like that and after that we'll do one more just select this duplicate it one more with the selection direct selection tool select the points place it here one selected place it here and after that select the middle one and place it in the middle now we'll do the adjustment with the flow so just shorten the handles like that and place it here nice curve maintain the curve and finally this way so once you have placed everything we'll do a little adjustment we'll select this we'll increase the stroke thickness so this one around five so increase everything to five like that in the same way select the other one this one select it increase it to maybe six let's check out the size if you increase this it into six okay so we can just give it five five is good so once you have done that we'll select all the curves select it with a shift press select everything go to object path and outline stroke and this will convert this into object form and after that ungroup it once and we'll de delete all the extra uh, surfaces which is at the corners so we select this delete it select this piece delete it select this piece delete it select this delete it select this delete it from the top also select this delete it select this delete it and after that we'll do few stuff here 
what we'll do is we'll select this this and subtract so you can see uh, the pieces which you have made has been subtracted from our main surface so it's empty in the same way we'll select this this and delete it subtract it select this this subtract select this this subtract once you have done all that you can see few of these surfaces have gone below uh, we need that on the top so we'll select just that surface and to bring that object on the top press the control and the uh, close bracket and that will bring that object to the front in the same way select this with the control and close bracket just bring the object to the front so this is to or for the arrangement just do the same for here also now once you have done all the arrangement correctly we'll just make sure to increase the size and after that we'll do the adjustment to the gradient color select this with a G for gradient tool just select the fill color and from here till here so that the darker portion is on the top and lighter is on the lower in the same way like this so just make sure uh, do it properly in the same way with the selection tool select this and with the gradient tool just adjust the gradient color like that again select this with the gradient color just do the gradient color select this G gradient color so here darker here lighter at the pillow so once you have added all the gradient color properly next thing is to add the text so let's create the text with a T type out the font that's screen s c r e e n screen art a r d -E art and the font which we are using is nexa light so we select this and type out n e x a nexa l i g s t light and you can see the font we got a very thin font and after that we'll get, select this font and give it bold an extra bold and next thing is we'll adjust increase the size around this much and we'll adjust the uh, spacing between each alphabet so we'll go to character and here is the option if you increase the number of value here you can increase the distance between each alphabet so we'll increase it around 700 and place it there you can even increase the size a little bit more and place it there so this is our logo we have placed the font in the proper way we have applied the gradient color and we have used few techniques to create this unique design so this is how we can create these kinds of logo hope you enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing you can press the subscribe button also don't forget to check out our latest product which we have released recently uh, the link is given in the description you can also find the link on the screen so if you want more updates on designing you can press the subscribe button and if you like this video press the like button thank you